a lot of things to mask our basic sexuality. We wear makeup, we color our hair, we wear clothes, we use all sorts of potions and perfumes and shampoos to mask our natural body odors. Now human females are unlike most primates in that we are concealed ovulators. We don't get these massive red sexual swellings in our nether regions to signal to males when we're ovulating and ready to go. Quite frankly, I'm happy that this doesn't happen. I mean, imagine what that would do to the fashion industry. So just how concealed is human female ovulation anyway? I mean, are we that distant from all of our animal cousins such that our male counterparts couldn't tell if we were ovulating or not? Well, a recent study asked that exact question, and they used what's called a t-shirt study to examine this. And so they took two groups of females, one group on the pill and not ovulating, the second group ovulating naturally. They gave them sterile t-shirts to wear, no perfumes, no fabric softeners, etc, etc. And, and then once they had worn the shirts for a given amount of time, the male testers, and female testers as well actually, smelled the t-shirts and rated them in terms of their sexuality and their intensity. Now I know I called this episode Smelly Vaginas. In this specific study they did only use the t-shirts, but other work in this area has used vaginal secretions as well because it makes the most sense. This is what we call the bullseye in terms of, hello, bring it over here. So you are going to obviously assume that this is where the, the pheromonal cues are going to be the strongest. So it turns out, and wait for it, we're animals after all! Our male counterparts were able to successfully tell when females were ovulating and they did this by judging the scents of the t-shirts worn by ovulating females as the sexiest and most intense. This is very interesting because the, the females that were on the pill, there were no trends in what they smelled like whatsoever. Now female raters also rated the ovulating females as being the most sexual. This wasn't statistically significant, but it did show a trend and it, and it makes sense evolutionarily speaking, I think at least, for a female to be able to detect when other females are ovulating. Interestingly, other work has shown that when female humans are ovulating, they find the scent, the smell of symmetrical men more sexual. Yep, that's someone's day job. <laughs>